Hello once again, welcome back to my channel. This is V3 CDG Suraj here. Today I'll be discussing about Tiny GS and LoRa satellites. Tiny GS is an open network of ground stations distributed around the world to receive and operate LoRa satellites, weather probes, and other flying objects. Presenting here is my prototype Tiny GS ground station, which is secured inside a PET jar. A DC socket is provided to power the ground station using external 5 volt wall charger. In this prototype, I have used AI Thinker LoRa RA02 module which operates at 433 MHz frequency and an ESP32 module. While configuring the ground station, select the option under the device type as 433 MHz TTGO LoRa 32V2 if you are using the same module. I have managed to solder it on a zero board to extend the connection on 2.54 mm burk pins. So this is the completed setup. A detailed documentation on ground station setup is given in the project's kit page of which link is given in description below. We have used a bazooka dipole antenna to receive the satellite downlink signals. This is a connectivity diagram. The antenna is built using RG6 coaxial cable which serves as the antenna element. A 2 pin power plug pin is used with the removed pins to extend the feeder cable and a SMA mail connector from a Wi-Fi dummy antenna which came along the IPX cable is used here. The design details of coax bazooka antenna is given here and the link for the calculator is given in the description below. Please note that since the velocity factor of the coax varies from type to type, additional tuning might be required by trimming the length. These are the photos taken in various stages. I have reused the mechanical tilt adjustment part of the Wi-Fi dummy antenna and have connected the feeder directly to the bazooka dipole. The antenna is tuned with the help of nano VNA and care was taken to measure the tuning frequency properly, avoiding any metallic objects or plastic elements nearby and managing to tune it at uh, 448 MHz frequency. I have fixed the ground station on a road leg support and it is placed on a slanting position facing the west from my balcony. So this is the dashboard of my tiny GS ground station and you can see the confirmed package as well as the record distance from here. And you can also see the, the graphical representation of the satellite positions from which the packets have been received. So that's it from my end. Thanks for watching.